In this session, we're going to take a look at managing our available inks or colors or design colors in the administration of open t-shirts. And we'll find that right up here under our design colors. And these are the colors that will be available to your users when they're working with clip art and such in their designs. You'll notice that if I add, let's say, this softball logo to the front of this t-shirt, it's going to take just a minute to load. It comes in as a one color on my left chest because I'm in my left chest view. Go ahead and zoom in here. And we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Now I'm going to go to full color. And there's our full color of the graphic. You'll notice that if I come down here to change the color, I've got a number of different colors I can select from. And these are all the colors that are available here in the color design color list and you can add, remove, and edit them. Let's say we wanted to add a royal blue. We've got light blue and we've got blue, but let's say we want to add a royal blue. So I'd come here and add color. I'd give the color name a royal blue. I could give that a color code if I wanted to. Let's say RB1 Status currently is set to disabled. I'm going to change that to enabled. Yes, this color requires a white base on medium and dark garments. Absolutely. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to my color because we want to save our information. I'll come up here until I get to where I think I've got the color I want. If I want to tweak that, I can come over here to this slider. As you can see right there. Go ahead and select that. Go ahead and select save. Now if we go back to our beta, we'll notice that if we click off, we aren't going to see that royal blue here. But if I go ahead and refresh or reload my system, let my page reload here. Let my garment load. I'll come here to, let's say, full front. I'll go to add clip art. And for the moment, I'll just go ahead and load this cheerleader. And I'll click on her and I'll go to full color. Actually, I've only got one and two color in this one. This isn't a full color one. I'm going to change my base color, and now you can see I'll have my royal blue right here in my colors, and I could change that to a royal blue. So this is how we can manage our available ink colors for screen printing for the open t-shirt system working on our back end. Of course, if I want to edit or delete, I can do all that from here also. So we'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll continue in our next session.